welcome back to the couch here on Aurora Television, Fox Tell Around Australia. We've got a fantastic uh, group of people here. These are fantastic cooks with me, Matt and Marcella. Hello. Marcella. Hello. Marcella. 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 If, you're, if you're Spanish, we've been given a, a language lesson. Spanish, you say Marcella. <laughs> Colombian, you say Marcella. At the couch, we say Marcella. Because one of our twists. <laughs> <people. laughs> we've got Nisha as well, which we say Nitha. <laughs> and Nisha. Matt, thank you guys. Nisha. Now, you both are from. Do you want to tell me what we're going to do? Empanadas. And what do they do? We, Marcelita's Empanadas is Marcella and I. We uh, have a food store. We uh, go to events and festivals and anywhere people want to eat. And we set up our store and we make beautiful handmade fresh Colombian empanadas. Fantastic. Nisha, do you want to yes. take over here? Yeah, absolutely. Marcella, now, I, I'm, I'm always interested in, A, what you're cooking, but also your husband and wife, right? Yes, we are. So that's quite <laughs> exciting, working together in the kitchen, yes. isn't it? Sure. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, Matt, what are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> Marcella, sure. what, what are we cooking today? We're going to cook uh, empanadas, Colombian empanadas. Ooh, lovely. Beef empanadas, yes. Lovely. And there is a bit of a, a story um, about that, isn't there? About, I guess, how you both met initially in a, in a Spanish food store and you were courted after a couple of a couple of attempts at going out on a date. Yes. Right? yes. Well, Marcella was working, <laughs> when she first arrived in Australia, she was working in a little Spanish shop and I was, uh, I was her best customer. And so I would come back to the shop Pretty Obviously, much didn't have much every, choice. We come here, we come <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't going there. <laughs> so every every weekend, I would be in there buying stuff mm -hmm. and trying to ask her out. Buy so another stuff. So I spent a lot of money trying to. Lovely. <laughs> so it's a labour of love. I'm curious <laughs> to know Colombian food. For those people who don't know much about mm -hmm. Colombian food, take your choice. Who's going to answer the question or both? Mm -hmm. Why is it so special? Mm -hmm. um, because it's unique. We may we love. Mm -hmm. And we like to, yes, show the people what So you make love while you're cooking? Yes. <laughs> no, I don't make the love, but... <laughs> Passionate friends. type of cooking. <laughs> I bring my love to the board. I know. Let's get all the ingredients. Fantastic. Let's, let's have, have a look. look. Thanks, Nisha. Look. What have we got here, Matt? So this is a Colombian chilli salsa called ahi pique. Ahi pique. And what's ahi in pique. there? It's um, red chillies, so coriander, good. spring onion, uh, some vinegar, some hot. lime. some. Very hot. Yeah, it's got a bit of kick to it. This one yeah. here? This is some shredded beef skirt. Beautiful. That's just beef shredded? Uh, it's uh, actually pressure cooked, slow cooked um, skirt with lots of spices in it and then we shred it up by hand. I like the look of this one. This is called uh, guiso. This is a uh, cooked Colombian uh, salsa and this has got um, tomato, capsicum, um, mm. spring onion, cumin, um, a few other things. And this one here? And that's Potato. It's very bright <laughs> cooking, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Potato. And over here, yeah. so we can have a look at the overhead cam, but we've got mm. something in this dish as well uh, that we're using. This is, this is to make the dough that mm -hmm. we use. We use maize flour, so mm. our empanadas are actually gluten-free um, mm. because Lovely. there's no, no wheat flour. Fantastic. Um, but that's actually how uh, one of the staple dishes in, in Colombia is, mm. is using things uh, with corn. So. Yeah. And you're adding water to that as well, just fresh. Yeah, we are. It's, there's a few other spices. I'll let you go and ahead and start mm. mixing that if you guys want to. Matt, just a quick question for you. Tell us a little bit about your store. Um, so we started probably a few years ago. We uh, basically um, started making empanadas at home for friends at barbecues and things and then uh, How we... do Australians uh, embrace the food? Do they sort of go... They don't, mm. they don't know what it is but once they've tried it then they love it. Like, that's the uh, thing isn't it? It's, we're, it's we're just good. finding a way to get it in someone's mouth and then that's yes. that's all you need to do really. It's so. good that you've actually, I noticed in the last few weeks we've had different types of style. We've had Spanish, Moroccan, yeah, and Japanese and now yourselves as well with the Colombian food. Yep. Do you think the, the hawkers markets yeah, are doing good. really well? <laughs> I think they're fantastic. Uh, the hawkers markets, we've, we've been involved since they started, uh, probably uh, about three or four years ago. Yep. And every year they just go from strength to strength. There's so much variety of food. Um, and everyone who's there are generally like owner-operators. They, they've got um, a passion, they're in touch with their culture and they really want to you know, show, show their food to everyone fantastic. in Perth. Tell us what you're doing there, Nisha. Okay, so I mix the masa, so I'm putting cumin and salt in warm water yep. mm -hmm. and mix together. And she's just trying to make that into a nice soft, Does it have sort to be of pliable. Hard or soft? And it can no, be quite soft, pliable, not too really hard, pliable. not too soft. Because you need to roll it out at the end, so it needs yeah. to be. It can't be too wet, but it also it's got a beautiful be texture, dry, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. What flour do you use in there? So it's maize flour. Maize so flour. it comes from corn, but not sweet corn, like a. Um, 
Yeah, so it's got an incredible. So there's no food colouring in that. It's just no. pure, pure. No, that's the okay. that's the, the colour from the dog. Yes. And I'm I'm hoping that Nisha doesn't ruin Amazing. this dish because she's an expert cook here. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing just I'm doing fine. my best to follow she's, instructions. She's now, doing when, good. Can you tell us a little bit about the hawkers markets themselves? When are they coming back? Uh, they're starting again in um, October, so mid mid October we'll be there, and they're and running. Where will they be? Uh, right in Forest Chase, in the middle of the city. Now, uh, understanding it, there's a lot of stalls there. There are. There are probably I think in the order of. 30 or 40 stalls every Beautiful. night. So. And there'll be music as well? Music, entertainment, everything. We, we love being part of it because it's just there's so much energy in the city when those events are well. on. So, yeah. I think it's really good that we've embraced this idea of pop-up markets, pop-up mm. restaurants, because it gives us a variety of food without having... You could go every night a different night exactly. and try something different. Yep. And, and it, the prices are good. Yeah, and it brings everything into one place and, mm -hmm. and where you wouldn't really have mm. the option of, of finding that kind of food. Let's put one together for us, if you like, Matt. And, uh, All right, you want to okay. mix the, the oh, salsa? Smells amazing. So this is the uh, the beef. We'll get them to make one up. And We've got plenty of time, so let's just uh, take our time. And the potato, make which get mixed together with the... Uh, the geese? With the geese. Mm. Okay. Mix all that. Guys, how long does it take to um, prepare all of those ingredients, like the actual uh, shredded beef? We, like, we, we well, the shredded beef will cook for a long time, so that's, and we do quite large batches because we do big, many. big markets. Uh, we pretty much prep uh, a full day of, of prepping for uh, for a weekend's markets to mm -hmm. come. So, so normally yeah. day. Now, can, can I ask cook? you, Matt, can you roll out a bit of that ready to, to fill? Absolutely. While um, Marcel is doing yeah. I don't know whether you want to do it yeah. there. Yeah, I'll do it here. And then what we'll do is we'll prepare one to show people what they look like and then we'll fry them. Because mm -hmm. we do deep fry them, don't we? We do. Yes, Yummy. That's one of the Marcella, that looks beautiful. fun things about yeah. Colombian food. Can you it? actually eat that raw? You can. Yeah, sure. sure. Well, I mean, it's yes. all cooked, will it, will so yeah. It hurt yeah. you? I'll just try it. won't hurt it. you at all. <laughs> I hope. Oh, that's beautiful. I'll just dip my this fingers in the hot oil. <laughs> actually, this that is, is, that is incredibly hour. fresh. And, and the flavours are amazing. Mm. It smells good. Yeah. Have you always liked cooking yourself? Uh, uh, yes, but between Matt and me, so we mm. we cook, but he cook more than me. Mm. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. I think the Colombian style of cooking is incredibly. Well. I love the, the colours and the co cooking. Yes, colourful. Yep. Beautiful. Like. So Matt, this now looks Matt, like there's a fair bit of um, energy going into that. Yeah, there <laughs> definitely is. Mm -hmm. Let's yes. fill one up and see what it looks so like, eh? Pretty easy, isn't it? You just you work with your hands, put some gloves on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you make these fresh on the night? We make them we make fresh, fresh to order, basically. Yeah. So we have a team of girls who will be um, up Visible. the back and rolling out all of the empanadas as we go. And then someone will be taking them and frying them. Can you get them away. anywhere else in Perth? Because I've not seen them anywhere. No. We're pretty well. There are a couple of other home stalls who do it. But, what we might uh, do, Matt, do you want to start nice. frying some? Yeah. I might get you to grab the ones that we prepared earlier on. Yeah, and we'll sure. just fry a couple while we put that together. Absolutely. That looks so amazing. Oh. And you just pinch the ends, do you, just to lock them up? Just close. No yeah, just egg white, yeah, nothing at all. No, no egg white, no. Nothing now like what that. are we doing on this side? We're just putting We're just gonna hot oil? very carefully yeah. put them in <laughs> there. Some oil. This is, uh, <laughs> this is this is about one, 180 degrees, and this is a um, a uh, canola oil. So you basically just want a very um, a high, high, oil high, oil. Smoke, high smoke point and uh, non non tasting. So, so I've started using rice bran oil. You could I use rice bran oil. Uh, you could also use um, sunflower oil or um, cottonseed oil, um, but we use canola. So. And the benefit is it's very high heat? Yeah, high it heat and uh, very clean, so you don't get a lot of, um, you know, uh, other flavours coming through. <laughs> and, Beautiful. yeah, and you wait until they're nice and crispy. We'll give those a couple of minutes now. Mm -hmm. The whole idea of this is to promote the fantastic markets that are coming up. Promote them again for me. The Twilight Hawker Markets Twilight. from um, October, mid-October until the end of February. What end did of, you say uh, there, April. Marcella? 16th of February. Until the, end of October? Of, until the end of April, every yes. Friday night in the, uh, the city? in Forest Chase in the city yeah. of Perth. Um, fantastic market. Look forward to now. If we want to know more about you guys, what's your website? You can go to masterleaders.com.au. You can also find us on Facebook as Marcella. 
Leaders Empanadas. Empanadas. We put up um, every week uh, which events and, and things we're going to be at. Um, Fantastic. And yeah, we'd love people to come down and try us off. Well, it's been an incredible change to have different types of foods in the studio today. Uh, thank you very much for coming in, Marcella. Thank you for having us. <laughs> you're very welcome. And I, I see you're trying to train our Nisha how to cook a little bit of... Yeah, how I do we call them again? Em Empanadas. 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 Yes. Empanadas. 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 M. A M. E M. E M. P A N A D A S. Empanadas. Correct. Empanadas. Empanadas. Thank you very much. How do you say thank you in Colombian? Gracias. 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 Gracias per manjaras. How do you say eat? Comer. Comer. Gracias comer. Gracias por, es, por comer. Gracias <laughs> por comer. <laughs> no. I've just sworn to half our audience. Yeah, no. you can say that. Thank you very much. We're no going to show what they look like. Um, are they ready to eat yet? Oh, they're getting very close. Oh, we're getting... Can we pull one out? Let's just pull one out. Yep. And uh, what we'll do is we got a, a, a yep. fork. I want to bring... Give me a uh, serviette. There you go. Thank you again for coming in. It's been a wonderful pleasure to have you here. Don't forget the Night Hawkers markets that are coming up in the city of Perth, Wellington Street. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Please go out there. There's music, there's food, there's all different types of food. You want me to try? Yeah, let's try. Oh, here we go. Go for it. Let me try that. Which camera? That will be super hot. Verdict? Verdict? Good? How was it? Matt, no wonder you converted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. Don't want to talk about masala. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. That is beautiful. It tastes like and one of those corn... With a chili as well. Like a mm. corn... Cr you know, the corn, corn chip? Mm. Yeah. With the taste of all the, the meat and everything that goes in it. I think the crew are dribbling. Yes. Thank you to Nisha. Thank you to Marcella. <laughs> Thank you to Matt. Yeah. Don't forget their website once more. Marcelators.com.au Love promoting local mm. talent. <clears throat> Oh, I like joke. So thank you very much. We'll <laughs> take a break and I'll have you. to indulge in eating some more of these empan uh, em em empanadas. Close empanadas. enough. There you go. After the break, more couch. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Thank you.